Hello, I'm Chris, and this is my final project, the gameplay walkthrough for the project and portfolio class at Full Sail University. So we already went over all the blueprints and what they all do, so now we're going to go ahead and hit play. Uh, it's It's been taking a minute for it to start. There's quite a lot in this level. Alright, so here we go. We're at the spawn pad. And we're going to go into our level. And Alright, cool. Welcome to training. Here you learn about what it means to be an adventure bot. There are two new controls to learn. E for interact. Tab for inventory. Currently the power is out. Locate the generator room and check it out. Okay, cool. Neat little hovercraft thing there. Hmm. So we'll come in. And basically the player is going to come in and realize it's way too dark in here. To really do anything, but I can see there's a generator room. I'm going to come in. If I try to interact with this, it's just going to tell me I need the power charge. So I'm going to have to go exploring and find that. And so we come over here into this room, and look at that, there's something interesting. Cool. Now, if I open my inventory, I have a power charge. So let's go back. Come over here. And awesome, I can interact now. And look at that, now the power is on and the lights are on. Awesome. <clears throat> kind of created this little area here. A spike testing room. Uh, in there is nothing but death. <laughs> so we'll come over here, go up the stairs. Um, what the player might find is if they just try to run through here. You're going to hear the audible alarm that there's spike traps there. So. There's two ways through here. You can jump to the left, jump to the right. Either way works. Kind of a little challenge because the roof is so low. But you come in here, and there's a save point spawn pad. Cool. So I wonder what's out here. And I go to hit a button, and oh man, the platform doesn't work. So I don't know how I'm going to get over there. So we'll go over here and go through this door. And way up at the top, it's kind of hard to see, but there is the power charge. It's way up there at the top of this gigantic jumping puzzle. So I'll go ahead and try to not die at my own game here. And jump up. Jump up. the stompers. This is the one that'll get you because it comes out fast. Um, down there at the bottom, if you were to fall off this, uh, there's like 1100 spike traps down there, so it'll kill you pretty much instantly if you jump down. Jump over, fly across. Seems like the way to go. get an idea of how high up we are. Created this little balance beam challenge here. Whoop. the charge and it pretty cool it does change the tool on the bots arm there to red and we'll check the inventory and cool now I have the move charge so maybe that'll fix that platform Now, we can press this button, and yeah, the platform works now. Cool. 
So we get taken across. And then we'll be in our final room. Alright, so here we are in the final room. And so if I come over here, I've got my door. Oh, and it needs a door charge. I can't interact with it. Okay. And happen to spot it. Know it's up there. Okay. I'm gonna hit this little thing. Oh, get on the elevator. Grab the charge. Come back down. Elevator knows it's me. <clears throat> then we come over here to the door again. And awesome, it works. And I'm taking in here. Cool, you made it. Enjoy some rest before your next adventure. So that'd be the end of the level. Pretty fun to actually inv implement. Oh, and I didn't show. Yeah, it did pick up the door charge into the inventory, so that's all working. And also noted the bot's arm changed color again. So we got the green now for the door charge. But yeah, that's the end of the level. Uh, thanks for watching. See you.